Hey, this is Justin Kestelin from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of OTN Semantic Web. As you can see, you have a number of portlets available to you on the home page. These are each based on a different RSS feed. You have a bunch of filters in the left-hand nav based on a taxonomy we've set up and a series of data sources in the top nav. So what you can do, for example, is select a filter that interests you, let's say Oracle Database 10G, and all the uh, uh, data sources or portlets will update based on your preferences. You can also combine filters And as you can see, once again, the portlets have updated to reflect your interest. In these particular data sources, there are no items available that match that filter. You can also remove filters on the fly. Now, if there's nothing in the given taxonomy that interests you, you can choose to do a free text search using Secure Enterprise Search. And as you can see, I've created basically a custom filter. You always want to do that before you select any other filters because it will take precedence. And then, of course, you can combine that with any other filter that's available. And again, you can remove filters on the fly. Now we have a number of different UIs that we've made available to you. For example, in forums, you have the ability to select a given tag, which is essentially will give you a filter. And then, of course, you can combine that with any other filters that are available to you. Or remove your filters as you like. The blogs data source also provides a date slider, which essentially gives you a date range filter. So as you can see, I've created a given date range. My filter has appeared here. And then I can combine that with a given blog author, for example. And it will show me all the posts for that author within that date range. And then I can go on from there to select other filters if I like. And then, of course, remove them at my preference. So as you can see, this is a really cool skin for OTN. It's certainly not a replacement for it, but it's just another very interesting way of interacting with content that's available in our RSS feeds. It's all based on semantic web technology. If you're interested in more background, you can go to otn.oracle.com slash OTN Semantic Web. There's an FAQ there as well as a link to a technical white paper. And we welcome any and all feedback about your experience with this application. You can reach or click on uh, this feedback link, uh, feedback link here. We'll give you access to a discussion forum we've set up for this purpose. So we hope you spend a lot of time exploring, and we look forward to hearing from you about it. Thanks again. This is Justin Kestelin from OTN.